Wellness Wednesday, a weekly podcast. Uh, used to be a radio program with Dr. Shealy that we, he started 30 years ago. So this is a big, big day. We also have uh, one and only Dr. Ken Kinahin. Uh, uh, so uh, amazing, amazing doctor, amazing provider, uh, amazing guy, and amazing story. And we're going to talk all about it in just a second. Uh, so... Uh, Let's actually uh, go ahead and start with a brief introduction because today's show, today's program uh, has, has to do with a very interesting discussion. Uh, Dr. Ken, uh, let's talk a little bit about you, uh, who you are, what you're all about, and let's talk about how you came across PEMF and why you, why you felt that it was essential to share this uh, today. Yeah, so my name is Ken Kanak, and so I've been in uh, uh, practicing as a chiropractor for about 32 years now. And my specialty is in weight training sports medicine. So I compete as a power lifter uh, for over 40 years. I still compete. So I'm 60 years old and still lifting heavy weights for no particular reason other than I can. Um, and my whole focus has always been on the treatment, prevention, and rehabilitation of weight training injuries. And I've been fortunate enough to be at Dr. Uh, Sheely's clinic uh, a couple of times for some of the seminars that he's put on and He's been a mentor of mine for many, many years and have a lot of his uh, uh, devices over the years. And uh, this last one uh, with the Gamma PEMF, I recently got in, um, I think it was in December, and just been playing around with it as far as from a manual medicine standpoint. We know that it works really well for pain, but I was looking at it from a function standpoint and what are the differences that you can do with that. So my focus has been uh, to teach people on weight training, weight training injuries, and how do you treat it and prevent it and how do you exercise properly. And so I put on a large symposium. I've been doing it for over 20 years and uh, I've been doing it primarily here in Toronto, but uh, I've been down in Columbus, Ohio, because a lot of the presenters were from there and it was just more uh, feasible to run it down in that, in that uh, state and city. And so I've been uh, bringing in different presenters over the years to try and really understand different methodologies. How do you treat it? Uh, what are the nutritional protocols? What are the treatment protocols? And most importantly is how do you train properly so you don't hurt yourself? And if you do, who is the best person and what are the best techniques? And so in the past four to six weeks, I've been playing around with the Gamma PMF. And, um, and just to give you an idea, I have 11 PEMF machines. Like I have a lot of other machines and they all work and they work differently. And I know Dr. Sheely has used, you know, PEMF for a long time, whether it be the Centurion, the, the big ring or the pads, or there's a number of them. But this unit has actually changed the way that I practice and also the potential to make such a difference with rehabilitation. And we'll be showing some videos of uh, some friends of mine that uh, I was working with to try and understand, does it work for increasing range of motion? Does it work for increasing strength, you know, as far as um, in a rehabilitative state? But even more wild has been, I've been bringing it into the gym myself and using it, and I'm able to double or triple my strength and my repetitions with no pain. And, uh, and so as much as you're going to be interviewing me, I'm going to be interviewing you because I don't know how this thing works. Like, I mean, what is it, how is it different than the other 11 that I have? Like, I mean, and so I, I know it's frequency based, you know, and I have some of the giant coils that can push more power out, but this seems to be frequency based and it's the subtlety of it. And so, so that's my story right now. And we got some pretty amazing uh, videos, like even uh, Kale, he was looking at the video yesterday and I said, what do you think? He says, it looks made up. And I went, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, God. And, and the reason being is that um, it doesn't seem like it can make that fast of a change that quick. And especially when I'm working with, you know, other doctors and, mm. and whatnot that understand, you know, uh, treatments and uh, treat, treat, uh, treat injuries. 
So it, it, this is going to be a fascinating conversation, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Oh, God bless. And, uh, you know, the other thing I really appreciate about you is that you were a professional bodybuilder. In other words, you competed. I mean, you've done some, uh, well, uh, it's uh, uh, powerlifting. I mean, you, you, you're powerful. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. a powerful guy, man. That's uh, I've set many uh, records and been doing it for 40 years. And that's actually how I got him in my profession is that I sustained a weight training injury in my knee. And the only person that was able to help me was a chiropractor. So um, that's how I got in the profession. But I built it all out where I do acupuncture, laser, pulse magnetic field, soft tissue, nutrition, anything that will help. And it's not just myself, but I put on large symposiums. So we'll have 500 to 700 delegates at my last uh, symposium. We had five streams at the same time, 70 presenters over two days. It was, and it was just an incredible event. And we're going to be doing another one in October. And uh, yourself, Dr. Soren, Dr. Sheely, uh, I'd love to have you both come out and present and to talk about some of the different protocols. And we'll have an energy medicine panel. So we can really discuss the different ideas and how does it, you know, apply to exercise. I know Norm is a huge advocate of uh, exercise, and I know Dr. Soren. We talked briefly that you are also. So yes. it fits in beautifully with with uh, what I do and with what you also do. One hundred percent yes to everything and all of the above. Uh, this is an opportunity to uh, ex to step uh, from a disease, this is a, yep. or an illness model, a state of mind into optimization, wellness, and performance. And this is yep. where functional medicine, this is a functional holistic approach, not just medicine approach, uh, yes. is, is is the key. And uh, uh, thank you again for all you do, uh, who you are, what you have, you. and what we're about to do. And the answer is absolutely yes. We are coming to the to, to the symposium and uh, look forward the to honor. seeing you in person. Thank you. Uh, the honor. So, uh, and if that is in uh, if uh, in travelable shape, I mean, he'll. Uh, I think it'll be great to great to make a tri make a trip. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I want to. Uh, I want to ask Dr. Shilly the next uh, the next segment or the next uh, few uh, few questions. Uh, the original invention of this PEMF unit came uh, some time ago from you. Yes, I was in Scotland and walking. Well, I suddenly decided, hmm, I relate to the ground. And the huh. ground is 7.83. And each chakra, additional 7.83. But then I figured out... It's plus or minus two because, you know, it's too narrow to say 7.83. So 5.83 <laughs> to 9.83 and each chakra uh, towards seven le leads to additional energy. So that's the gamma frequency. But it's also called the chakra sweep because it sweeps from the beginning five point. 83 to seven times five, uh, 7.83 plus or minus two. And then it, it's delta frequency, which I find much more helpful for pain control and for sleep. And um, can I stop you right there? Why, why is the first, why is that uh, one to three more powerful for pain? Okay, let's talk about it because uh, he, here's the concept, uh, uh, and uh, Dad can step in here. But uh, the, the zero to three supports stage three deep sleep. It's the relaxation. It's the down on the nervous system. So right. uh, neuropathic pain and things of that nature. And I've had several colleagues, uh, especially in the chiropractic community, uh, in Dr. Ryan Welton. You may have come across yeah. him. He he would be a good person to to also to be a, to be aware yeah. on the on the energy spectrum there. Uh, and uh, it's uh, well a, a few a few others, but you know. But please, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Sheely. So is one to three. Does it increase the endorphins and enkephalins? Yes, it, okay. and it helps you sleep better, the frequency right. of sleep. Uh, the, the, one, the interesting thing uh, is that uh, Dr. Shilly uh, took the concept of frequency and entrainment, and he applied it to PEMF unit, and that's the brilliance of it. 
because uh, you, we asked why are there, you know, you have 11 other PMF units. I've gone through about six of them. I mean, <laughs> Dr. shilly has gone through about, well, uh, you had a, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, so uh, PMF is a fantastic idea in itself. It, yeah. I, it helps with uh, with ATP production, uh, blood flow optimization, vascular, uh, just communications, uh, cellular uh, nutrition, uh, otherwise. Uh, so it works on a cellular level. And the idea is you work on a cellular level, trillions of cells, you optimize the building blocks uh, and, you know, somehow the body does better. And sometimes uh -huh. it does a lot better. Uh, so that's uh, that's the concept. But if you uh, if you increase uh, the effect of that by adding something called entrainment, and entrainment is just uh, think of it this way: uh, it could be as as, uh, as complicated as brain entrainment, uh, which is what we do with the frequencies. Otherwise, but uh, it could also be as, uh, as simple as you take. Uh, Two tuning forks. So the, the imagine these were tuning forks of uh, let's say 212 mm -hmm. uh, hertz uh, each, uh, uh, and each cell has a capacity for for magnitude. You activate one, it'll activate the other. So that's well, that uh, resonance. Resonance. That is my, that that is our most uh, most likely concept or theory behind that. But there may be other mechanisms as well. It's hard to say. Okay, continue, Doctor Sheely. Well. Buddhist monks are known to chant eight hours a day. Wow. In, in the PEMF range. And so I've, I've played with it up to 24 hours a day. Wow. But, um, I uh, use it at least six hours every day in my you know, own body. And I use primarily the uh, PMF frequencies, although I could switch to Delta or, or the Chakra Suite. Let me let me jump in and kind of get a comprehensive because I know we, we're kind of mentioning different wonderful things, but let's get a, a basic structure to this uh, to begin with. So this is how I usually use the PEMF, and this is what I usually suggest in the order. Uh, so let's say I'm going to start with a person goes to bed. Let's say you go to you go to sleep. Charge uh, the unit. Uh, this way you charge the battery. Plug yep. it in. Uh, yeah, yep. that's uh, that's right. Yes, sir. Uh, and literally and keep it plugged in through the night well in the delta zero to three cycles per second support stage three deep sleep relaxation reset now right. if a person has uh, you know it's also a good one for you know let's say neuropathic pain or just kind of decrease the nerve sensation uh, and activity okay. Uh, so more nerve, okay. Exactly. Uh, yes, yes, yes. The nervous system is the king, literally. Everything follows the nervous system. If the nervous system shuts down, uh, peripheral or otherwise, it's hard to recover because uh, right. it will be guarded uh, otherwise. Uh, so, uh, so, so, and then let's say you wake up. Uh, so for somebody like me who doesn't, let's say, who's not a morning person, that wakes up at we used to wake up, wake up at six, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, easily, and now it's seven. It's still too early for me. But uh, I need, I need all the help I can get, uh, and that's gamma. Gamma is forty cycles per second. That's what that means by meditator's mind, uh, and that is, uh, you know. So it, it, that gamma is not just 40 cycles per second. It can be 80 cycles per second. It, there's also a range, but uh, it is associated, as, as, as Dr. Shilly said, with, uh, with, with a monk, uh, you know, with a monk-like uh, focus and activity and just, uh, you know, it's not just for sick people. Again, it's for people who want to optimize. And there's days, for example, where, well, let's say I haven't slept or I worked a 24-hour emergency room shift and I still need to function for the next two or three hours before I crash. This is this gets me through. Not that I'm advising that kind of lifestyle, but if you have, you know, again, it, it works, and right. uh, and that's gamma. And of course, the uh, the next uh, one to be aware of, and that's what that's the first setting. And this is what uh, and this is the sweep sweep mode. And uh, it's interesting because we talk about the words like chakra and things of that nature, uh, but uh, it's a uh, chakra is a word used by ancients and mostly from the eastern based philosophies so a lot of the our current colleagues find you know find that to be well they, they don't know how to respond to that kind of a talk frankly 
uh, and there's a wide range of hey between this is nonsense to uh, to everything to anything hey I'm curious still tell me more to people who know a lot about it but the idea is there's seven energy centers and it correlates with the nerve plexuses for example there's the solar yes. plexus there's the cardiac plexus uh, there is the uh, you know well, the throat uh, brain is a, a huge uh, co complexion of nerve activity again and then go going all the way down so there's seven basic ones and uh, what dr shilly discovered was that when you go, when you take the basic schumann frequency 7.83 cycles per second that's the heartbeat of the earth literally and there were studies right. and experiments that literally uh when they discovered this in the 40s and 50s about the schumann frequency god bless yeah uh they did uh, put students in bunkers and they uh, again just devoid of frequencies and those young people fell apart introduced uh, reintroduced schumann frequency 7.83 cycles per second and they resumed most of their normal function so that could explain uh, the some of the some of the videos that we're going to see again and some of the things and again i've seen it with my personal experiences but yes it's absolutely incredible uh, and of course you have uh, the basic schumann frequency and the energy centers times seven so dr shealy got that inspiration and when he came across an engineer by the name of lou uh lou cassidy a brilliant guy who had a pmf unit uh, they came together and they encoded the frequencies into lose the device which was uh, had virtues of its own and that's how this whole came this thing came oh, to the be okay okay and so, uh, Dr. Sheely, how much power does this actually put out in Gauss? How uh, much Gauss? Do we good know? Good question. Great question. Uh, th this is this was a discussion that came up when uh, one of the other uh, co present you know, uh, guests uh, came on, uh, uh, Dr. Pollock, at some point, and he was talking about the high amplitude, high power, low power. Uh, right. So, uh, and he was, but he, but his statement was that his unit with is high power, and that's why it, it works better. But again, you know, but there is also another perception, another opinion by uh, uh, there is a, a wonderful author, uh, Bryant. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, brains are wonderful when they work. I would love to get him on the podcast as well at some point. Uh, uh, he's got a website and he's got, uh, uh, well, you see, if I can get our technical folks to find Brian's website and put it up so that, you know, the information is there, uh, including is what Brian is the EMF. Uh, Brian Daly is another one of me, our our mutual friends and a very right. dear friend, but that's not the same guy though. I mean, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, it's uh, uh, no, it's a, a B a, a Brian B R Y A N T something of that nature. But we'll uh, mm -hmm. we'll look it up and sp put put it up specifically. Uh, so uh, the uh, he he explains uh, uh, very clearly and very simply, and I love that because he's got a book out as well. A P of the fifth element uh, and uh, it's a wonderful book and the, and part of the inspiration of development our device came from him and his book mm. so i want to say thank you as well including introducing of the different modes and the different so other two modes initially uh, there uh, there mm. was only the sweep mode and it did most of the job and then we said hey mm. let's get it let's bring in an upper mode optimizer mode gamma <clears throat> because that's a control center and let's bring in the relax mode because you can't just keep running in a high mode all the time. You gotta land right. and then refuel and then take off again. You know, um, right. uh, and I have we have the name up there. Okay, uh, Brian uh, Myers. Myers. Uh, and yeah. yeah, and we'll put up that information. Uh, so uh, according to that, uh, just to kind of get back to the question, uh, the uh, it's a uh, it's a very tricky question as to the amplitude and the power because the what Dr. Pollock called amplitude is, is an, it was was an inaccurate calculation so to speak again you, you can see we can see his web Dr. Bryant uh, uh, Meyer, uh, Meyer's website uh, and it, it goes into physics uh, and lots of wonderful detail uh, uh, so uh, the short of it the short of it uh, how do you tell the power the amplitude of, of a device it has to do with the area it has to do with uh, mm -hmm. uh, in other words, how, how close it is uh, to the body. But the interesting thing is when we use a, a certain type of meter, uh, the unit lasts for about six feet. So, a yes. six, a, a, so uh, and uh, obviously it's a low, a low enough amplitude so that it's not, you can wear it 24 seven and that's what's recommended because that it's like, a, it's like a slow charger for the batteries. It doesn't yeah. just amp you up and just, it's nice ramp up and keeps you in a good place.
Mm-hmm. Thank you. Wonderful question. Okay. Yeah. So, Dr. Sheely, so you created, you know, the Sheely sweep. Um, how long is it at each cycle, each each chakra? Does it go through, like it stays at one chakra for a few minutes and another one? Or does it continually Yes. Cycle? Yes. It's about two to four more minutes per chakra. Okay. Okay. And how did you come up with going all the way up to 56? It's because... The, the brain get, gets that speed. Wow. It's, and if you were to use two units, I've been asked this with some of my patients that have seen this. If you use two <laughs> units, is it more powerful? Oh, of course. But I do want to say this because there was some, uh, uh, Ken, I love your questions. This is fantastic. Uh, it, it does increase the production. It does e- increase the amount of the of, of the delivery, but it has to be in the same flow because if you if the rings are opposite to each other or inverted, it, it's going to cancel each other out. Well, it will cancel each other out. Potentially, potentially, unless you, of course, just so align it in the same direction. So, so is it direction of the ring, or is it turning both units on at the same time? both ah so you have to measure the polarity that's coming out well no it's actually it's not that complicated but basically just uh, be, have the two rings you know align them let's say dr shilly does this all the time okay he would he'll, he'll sit in a chair basically and just you know or done and do something on a computer he's got two rings down on his uh, you know by, by his neck uh but the, they are you know again they're they're in the same direction and he just presses the button and that's some di- same direction is based on this uh actually uh, oh yes uh, that's the uh, uh, uh hmm i see what you're saying uh okay, right there was actually uh uh good point uh, we had a previous uh, the model i'm thinking as was it curves a little bit to the uh, to the one side um but uh it doesn't uh, the, in this case uh, it's a uh, i it, this one does not make any difference specifically Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have to tell now. You. If you have the just, just, just for the record, if if you have a previous copy of a coil, uh, and just again, it's not a big deal. But if you do want to use the two rings, and I don't know how many people do that, make sure. And if it, if if it curves to the side a little bit, yeah, on an entry, yeah, make sure that. Okay. Make sure that you uh, again. That's that's a different version of a coil, but uh, again, no big deal. Again, okay. most people don't, you know. Yeah, and, that's it. And the coil okay. is is copper. Coil is copper. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I've always wondered what's inside of here. <laughs> Thank you for answering that question. So, Doctor Sheely, so what are the big things that you found that this works the most important from your your practice? Like, uh, um, I think pain and also addiction. Correct. Oh, definitely. Uh, the first major research was people who had been addicted for 20 plus years and immediately they lost the addiction. Really? They, they and I followed them for several years and success all the way. And how long would they have to have this on? Like what would the treatment protocol be? A, a minimum of two hours a day. Minimum. Okay. But mostly they wore it all day. <laughs> so would that be on the cognitive? Would that be on the setting to the gamma frequency or the Sheely suite? Yes. Oh, we're talking uh, gamma, second gamma. Second. Gamma. So that would change. Yeah. So when you have this on for two hours, can you explain what happens in the, the noggin, the head, as far as whether it's, you know, increased uh, electro? Because you're a neurosurgeon, correct? Right. Yeah. So what happens in the brain? Is it more hormonal? Is it more neurotransmitter? Is it actual a functional change? All of the above. Wow. So it does everything. Yes. Oh, my God. What an amazing tool. I have to tell you. And, and so what are the hormones and neurotransmitters that it would change from what you've seen with your research? Well, the ones that control personality 
Uh, Primarily, it's a serotonin, dopamine. Right. Um, oxytocin. But, uh, oxytocin. Yes. Uh, we haven't, uh, I don't think we measured oxytocin specifically in this year with a, with a unit, but uh, there's actually a um, consideration for a comprehensive neurochemical profile because uh, just uh, it, it's fascinating. In order to cause uh, <clears throat> such a significant, profound, uh, hope and change with addiction addiction is a difficult process yeah uh, seven 17 percent uh, at best <laughs> that's not me <laughs> that's not no 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 that's that's my bad i need to uh yeah that's terrible yeah in order to in, in you know in the best of circumstances addiction is 17 percent success 17. so uh in a, a, wow 17 yeah, uh, you're talking basically the, the, the highest end, uh, you know, just basically elite uh, uh, from places where they do everything. And still, it's difficult. Why? And the, the reason is the control center. And so, and I think especially with addiction, dopamine plays a significant part, serotonin, but uh, so does neurotensin. Oxytocin is another one of those that I, uh, that I would certainly be interested in because, you know, that's uh, nurturing, loving, and, uh, you know, in general, if people, if we can learn to love each other and nurture ourselves, uh, you know, that, that we, we will do, we'll do good for, for ourselves, by yeah. ourselves. Well, I know uh, what, we'll, we will not do harm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I know that Dr. Sheely came out with all the essential oils, you know, fire, air, a number of them to actually change some of these different hormones and neurotransmitters. Correct? Exactly. Yep. Uh, and for example, air bliss, that's your oxytocin and your tensin. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so if you use the essential oils and also the um, the ring, would that just sort of compound it? Would you get an exponential uh, effect? Yes, wow. absolutely. Wow. So would this, uh, like in in physiotherapy or any uh, uh, other places, we, we do ionophoresis. So you would put, you know, on the ultrasound cream and you'd put maybe a analgesic and you would use the ultrasound to drive in the, uh, the, the ingredients. Or you can do that with laser photo um, photophoresis, where you can drive it in. Would this be right. a magnetic phoresis? Right. Uh, absolutely, and I think this is because because the cellular reception. Uh, if you can optimize the cell health, and it, it's everything starts on electromagnetic basis. Before, it, it's interesting. Uh, we had this conversation. It's I think at one point. But the, what is the health of a human being? You know, like for example, we, we we look at each other. We see. I see Dr. Ken. You know, I mean, you see. You know, you see. You see the two of us sitting here as mm -hmm. as humans and or as organisms. But if you apply a microscope right there and just uh, and look at the down to the cell level subcellular level how healthy is the cell how healthy is the mitochondria how healthy is the atp production how right. healthy is the uh, is that uh, well the control center for the for the cell which is the electromagnetism literally right. yeah and if it's and if it's you don't have enough power you know i'm always thinking that this basically just recharges the cell especially the mitochondria and especially all the different systems. If mm -hmm. Dr. Sheely, so when you put it on the head, we also have some major uh, master hormones by the pituitary gland, the hypothalamus, a number of glands that produce hormones further on down. So if someone has a traumatic brain injury or has PTSD, and I know you two have specialized in that, would this help reset some of the master hormones that have been traumatized either emotionally or physically? Uh, right. Absolutely. I would say gamma mode. Would you say? Yes, gamma. Yeah. Uh, although, uh, it's, I'll, 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 I'll say this. Uh, I love gamma for the brain. And, you know, in, in general, if I think just the general concepts, brain equals gamma. If I want to do something so the second really good setting, for the brain. Second setting second is setting. always gamma. Yes. Okay. yes, yes, and, yes. And for the brain. That's 40, 40 cycles per second. But there are times and places, and again, and there's times when, I, you know, I work 24-hour ER shift, I'm depleted, I'm tired, you know, it's been a long week. So in other words, if, if, if the body itself is in a place where it needs nutrients, it needs regeneration, it needs just, the re, just a recharge, uh, before I even work with a gamma, Sometimes I put a gamma on and just doesn't seem right. In other words, uh, or it doesn't feel yeah. too much. And I, when there's 
stuff in too much disarray. So uh, in that case, what I do is I, I literally get back to 24-7 uh, uh, the sweep mode. Uh, in other words, the so, so far, yeah. Schumann frequency yes. recycle. Okay. And then I and sometimes it, it, it takes a day, sometimes two days. And then at some point, my body will know automatically when I can do other the when, when it's time to switch to others. Wow. And and so it says here, gamma the the gamma sweep is thirty eight to fifty four. So does it also sweep through, or does it stay at forty? Uh, oh no, it, it sweeps through. And uh, and the reason being is that the gamma is not literally defined at forty cycles per second. And this is a very common misconception, especially you know just you know everyone says you know gamma forty cycles per second. Well, yes, yes, th this is what's been studied. But interestingly enough, uh, it's a uh, how did how did we come up with number forty? Somebody picked that number, did the research, found out it was uh, it correlated with a you know with, with you know monk brain activity and focus and concentration and and function and uh, they called uh, forty gamma and then forty what, what about 41, 42, 43? Right. Again, we just don't know. <laughs> well, and what to so, Dr. Uh, Steely's work as far as the sweep? So forty two to forty nine to fifty six. Again, the different chakras. And going up 7.83, or you know, a variation of that, which I think is super brilliant. Like, I mean, it's it's really, really quite brilliant. Oh God, absolutely! You know, I would love to actually have. A, let, let's talk about uh, from your perspective, from strength training, you know, um, rehabilitation, treatment, yes. uh, uh, strain. You know, well, uh, your 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 field of the woods, so to speak. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, uh, well, I think what uh, if if you can put up the uh, video, um, is Kale able to do that? Mm -hmm. I think we're. we're yeah. So let me that. let me let me give some context to this. So six mm -hmm. weeks ago, I was in Columbus, Ohio, with a very good friend of mine, Dr. Eric right. Serrano, who's so, who's oh, who's a medical so doctor. Just hold on, Kale. Just hold on. Stop it. Yeah. So this is Dr. Eric Serrano, and he's a medical doctor out of Columbus, Ohio. He's one of the top premier medical doctors, especially in the uh, uh, health and fitness and nutrition uh, era and area. And a uh, really good friend of mine. He has a bad left hip, degenerated. He has maybe 25 degrees abduction as far as how far he can take it away. Very painful. He's had a bit of a limp. I've treated him a couple of times and uh, with with very little success. And so we were playing around at his house six weeks ago and he was open enough to experiment. I said, listen, I have this new device. Let's see whether or not it helps. And so he's uh, we put him through some different tests and based on uh, Dr. Sheely's recommendations, uh, as far as what we started to do, putting it on the area of the hip and also on the head. So um, we can probably run this now and you'll see um, uh, just how limited he is without the unit and then what happens. There we go. Can you try and stand up on the chair? So he's going to try and stand up on the chair now. I got to, I mean, no, I got to push off. I have to do it this way. That's the way I have to do it. Not to step off, I have to do it that way. Which way you want it? So put it on the hip first. Okay. So the first thing that happens is I can put what it that. No pain. The second no thing pain. was incredible. Was... Now, it hurts a little bit when I have it there. All right. Wow. Now that is something, my friend. That is something. So, so Kale, is, is uh, the second half where he put it on his head there? Uh, can we play the second half where uh, on the head, BMF? Um, was there a second part of the? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, let's play the second video. Yes. Um, uh, actually, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, before we, uh, so uh, there is a. Uh, so, Dr. Uh, okay. Um, uh, go ahead, please. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, Dr. Sheely, how does it work in a central area where he had no pain, no strength, no range of motion, and instantly it changed? And then what we did is we put it on his head. The second part is put it on his head. It was even better. 
Right. Mm. Well, it, it, it works as it, it does, period. Anywhere you put it, it optimizes the function. It is incredible. Uh, you know, it's a it, wow. The nervous system, uh, the brain, uh, the control center. Uh, I, you know, we we have as a human kind, human uh, human scientists, human human spirit. We have yet to discover the capacity and the stray and, and the potential that we have. Uh, truly, I do believe that you know we we live in a world where uh, we don't know how strong we are, how how fast how fast we can be, how strong we can be, and how and, and how healthy we can be. I mean, it's, it's truly right, right. Yeah, it's 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 incredible. Um, so, did Kale have the rest of that video, or we just go to the one? Okay. Uh, um, we, yeah, Kale, uh, did you was it the, the entire video that played, or was there more to it? I think there was a second part to it. Uh, can we play? Again, let's just play that. Just I think yeah, maybe yeah, he can part uh, to go through the it. entire original video. I asked him to edit it, and I, I we uh, yeah, that was my fault. That uh, yeah, I should have edited it um, differently. Mm -hmm. The entire the uh, original. Yeah, I don't know if he has oh, it. There, we, but... uh, I think. Uh, he may have yeah, so. Yeah, that's the one. Yep, yep, doing great. So keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, he's putting it on his hip now. Now he's able to stand up with it. Boom. There you go. Oops, okay. Okay. That's, yeah. that's, that's all, yeah, the, all the video that we got. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I'm not, I just want to mention something in terms of uh, uh, this. Uh, um, I think we. Uh, yeah, this I think. So go halfway. Uh, through. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So back it up a little bit more. Just a touch more. Uh, can we back, a, back it up just a bit more? Uh, and uh, and again one, one more uh yeah and yep is that good doc uh, a little bit yeah, further let's go yeah so this is interesting so he has no meniscus in his knee so when he goes forward you can see on his face that it's getting painful if he puts it on his knee no pain Incredible. Wonderful. And this is a medical doctor that understands this. Now he puts it on his head and watch this. It's even better. Oh, no, he's he's just talking about it now. It's even better than him actually um, using it on his hip. And that's what he was talking about. So, yeah, this, this unit is incredible. That's great. Yeah, he goes up. Not a problem. No pain whatsoever. And he had to use his other hand to raise it up. So it worked better on his head than in the actual area. And I think that's obviously neurological. Wonderful. Yeah. So pull up the next one, um, uh, Kale. Uh, Kale, next video, please. Uh, if you can. So this yeah. is of me. I was in Washington, D.C., four weeks ago and um i wanted to see whether or not uh, uh yeah, so yeah just so i'm gonna do five kale? stop the video kale doc wants to can i explain a little bit okay uh, go ahead yeah, yeah so so this is 120 pounds no warm-up i just was at a seminar and a good friend of mine justin cavanaugh was there and he says let's let's do some experimentation so this is a 120 pound one arm lat pull down, which is a lot of weight. If you think of oh, two arms, it's yes. 240 pounds. No warm up. I put it in the back of my pants, and um, it's not on now. I want to see how many repetitions I can do with it off, and then once they start to fail, he's going to turn it on, 
And then, so I'm able to do eight repetitions here. And then after he turns it on, I do another 24 repetitions. So play the video. Uh, can we play the video, please? Yeah. And then you can turn it on. Okay. So the unit is off right now. One. Two. Actually, we'll go to 10. I didn't make 10. <laughs> Looking good, Doc. Looking good. That's uh, better than I've ever been, you know? Okay, turn it on. Oh, he's turning on now. One, two, oh, yeah. Three, there you go. Look, I mean, I have no idea how this works. Like, obviously, neurological, but the it's brain. also, I think, metabolically. Imagine so, you know, it, the human being is an incredible, incredible uh, creature. You know, we, I don't think we even know the limits of who we are, no. do we? Look, I'm still going. Oh, God, yeah. Boom. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, and just for, for the record, uh, how old are you, Doc? For, Ooh, for the people 60. Who 60 years old there you go oh god so so i don't know how this works because it also works metabolically after after the um the exercise i had no doms i had no pain just everything it, it, it had worked so so well so it optimizes you know my my training you know i've been to the gym a number of times with a good friend of mine wendy hudson and it's the same thing we've been able to double our uh, our exercise our strength and i've used this with a few different people in the gym and getting different repetition ranges but either you double the amount of repetitions you can do or you increase the strength and it seems to work on both ways and for some for people that have a small head which i don't it doesn't fit over my head <laughs> but they carry it like dr Sheely. they just put it in they put it in their pocket and they just turn it on. And, and it's just amazing, you know, and no one asks any questions because it looks like you're listening to an iPod. You know, <laughs> this is the least weird thing that happens in gyms. So, uh, so yeah, it's a very, very powerful machine that um, we, I think we can, because here's the issue. With Dr. Uh, Serrano, his hip is completely degenerated. He has pain, his decreased range of motion, and he has decreased strength. How do you rehab that? You can't. Oh, but you shit. use this along with rehabilitation. Oh, my God. All of a sudden, everything changes. What I'm starting to do, and I know Dr. Sheely does acupuncture with needles. What I'm doing is I'm putting the needles in and then just dropping this on top. And correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Sheely, when you do that, the pulse magnetic fields would actually go deeper into the body, into the acupuncture points, correct? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, By the and way. What, what setting would be the most powerful for the acupuncture? I think, again, I, I would use gamma. Use gamma. Yeah. Use higher. Actually, okay. that's interesting. I. I I would be curious the distinction between gamma and the sweep itself, because to me, the sweep encompasses it all. At the same time, gamma is a, a very specific, interesting delivery. It's a certain uh, in terms of hertz. Uh, so uh, whenever Dr. Shilly says something, I listen carefully. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so if you were to do auricular therapy on the ear and mm -hmm. you had this on, definitely gamma, correct? Yes. Uh, probably gamma, yeah. I would say so, yeah. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to figure out different treatment protocols because I think it, this is made basically just to put it on, leave it on, and it'll kill pain. But I'm kind of looking at it differently as far as you're able to increase range of motion, you're able to increase strength, and at the same time, there's a decrease of pain. Um, and I have a, a unit here. This is a um, force transducer. So I do a lot of muscle testing. So the the problem with muscle testing has been it's a qualitative test. Yes. It's weak. It's strong. 
how weak, I don't know. Like, you know, you're kind of sometimes making stuff up. Well, now we can actually measure it, which is fantastic because now it's actually, um, I forget where I put it, but you can Bluetooth this to your iPhone. So I'm basically having the patient hold and they can actually see how strong they are. So if I'm testing one arm that's damaged and it's 12, 12, uh, 12 pounds and the other side is 20, we put this on, all of a sudden it's 20 and 20. Oh, God. So That's wonderful. That is wonderful, we're able Doc. To quantify the actual changes. And if you take it off, it goes back down to 12. So we can go back and forth, which is which is a really, really nice tool. By the way, uh, you know, uh, I'd love to see if, you, if, if you'd be interested in the collaborative research project. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, because yeah. we, uh, you know, what Dr. Shilly has done uh, is a wonderful thing. Uh, he endowed a chair of conscientious psychology at the Missouri, St uh, Missouri State University. And oh, there's wow. a wonderful young lady by the name of Amber Abernathy. She was a guest on our program at, at one point, and we talked about a number of different things. Uh, and uh, she is uh, she's now currently... Uh, well, organizing, you know, getting the research uh, done. And this sounds like a simple, easy project. Uh, and we can Very certainly, uh, I mean, this is, uh, I love numbers. You know, in other words, uh, I, ultimately, you know, the, the outcome and the experience is, is what it is. Uh, you feel better, you feel good, you get the results. That's what it's all about. You don't have the results, well, change what you're doing. Uh, but, uh, you know, the numbers, the statistics, again, it's not always, uh, you know, some statistics lie, but, uh, you know, having numbers that reproduce and reproduce over and over, oh, God, this. Yeah, you can't. There's a, a great gentleman, Edward Deming, who uh, basically transformed Japan after the war, super brilliant. And one of his great quotes is, if you don't have data, you just have opinions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, um, so what I appreciate yeah. with Dr. Shealy over the yeah. decades, you know, how long have you been a physician now, Dr. Shealy? Since 1956. 1956. And, and you developed the first, uh, the TENS unit, correct? Yes. And, and then someone happened to take it <laughs> to market, correct? Uh, yeah. Right. right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, you used to, as a neurosurgeon, implant TENS machines into people's lower backs, correct? Yes. And that was called dorsal column stimulation? Yes. And you stopped doing that because I already know the answer. <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> well, it did, but uh, you know, there's better ways without poking you know people what? with, yeah. uh, with needles into the spine. Yeah. yeah. Although, although there is a wonderful one, you know, when it's if it's applicable, appropriate, you know, it's a great procedure. It's better than drugs. But uh, if you can do something like PEMF, if you can, you know, uh, magnetic, electromagnetic and work with the mind, uh, resetting, retraining the nervous system uh, on all levels, supplementation, macros, micros, lifestyle, uh, attitude adjustment. I mean. Yes. Getting in touch with your true inner self, the spirit soul, be living your true optimal potential. My God, uh, life can life can be completely different from how we know it. Now, have you done any work with stroke patients? Patients, okay. Uh, I've seen personally uh, uh, not just uh, maintenance or la lack of uh, uh, or. Let me just rephrase that. In certain situations, especially vascular, you know, vascular strokes, where it continues to be a downward going cycle. Uh, in other words, worse, and then there's another another stroke, mini stroke, another incidents, another incidents, and it's almost like going down the steps until you got not, not nowhere, no no more steps to go down. Uh, in in those kind of incidences, I we found a very interesting uh, correlation. In other words, not only did the, the people, you know stop going downhill vascular wise so it makes sense vascular support but there right. was also a functional improvement including some really fascinating stuff there was also interestingly enough parkinson's people with tremors and uh, uh and even not, not not parkinson's but just a benign tremor otherwise uh, neurological restless leg syndrome all, all sorts of things uh, so uh, and, along along those guidelines too uh, the but uh, go ahead please uh -huh. what what setting would you have that on 
in those, uh, I, I recommend anytime I think brain, I think gamma. Brain okay. gamma. Uh, so uh, that's just that... my general rule of thumb. But again, uh, the delta is a wonderful way to bring things down. When there's too much activity or disorganized activity in the brain, gamma is the right thing to uh, zero to three cycles per second. Oh, delta. Three. Yeah, delta. Brain oh, sorry, delta. delta. I apologize. Delta. It, uh, brains are wonderful when they work. Uh, and then there is, uh, uh, yeah, so we were talking about delta, zero to three cycles per second relaxation. Uh, the uh, <laughs> So uh, seizures or epilepsies? Potentially. Again, Delta. Potentially. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now the one thing is because of the you know of our uh, well because of the FDA and all the other right. folks uh, out there again we cannot say and we will not say that we cure or or or, or uh, you know or fix anything per se but no. it may uh, let, let me let me put it this way it may support function and 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 it may support uh, better better you know how you feel you know let's put it that way <laughs> healthier <laughs> healthier <laughs> that's the official statement folks. <laughs> Now, I've also gotten questions as far as with cats and dogs and horses. Yes. This is a good question. Like Robinson. Yes. Does it work Andy, well? It works on all animals. And what cycle would you put it on, Dr. Sheely? Actually, for animals, uh, the, I think the sweep is probably the best way. Yeah, sweep. Yeah. Now, would the now animals can hear at a higher frequency? Would have you noticed that it with the with their uh, increased hearing? Would, uh, would they sort of be affected by that or not really? Well, well interestingly enough, uh, our, our German shepherd uh, who, who passed uh, in old age, uh, uh, that was uh, almost a year and a half ago, um, uh, before, before, before it passed on, uh, was having a lot of problems with orthopedic. They're, they're, they're famous for hips and uh, joints and, and back. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of bowel issues, a lot of, a lot of other stuff, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, if, if the unit was activated, uh, the pup would make it would make its way to, towards the unit. Eventually, we put a, we put the unit on the floor just to just to make it available, and it would choose to sit on that unit rather than warm, comfortable, fuzzy bed. Uh, huh. And so we put that in the bed, and uh, we got a lot more function. The dog was you know was better. Now, are animals more sensitive to um, magnetic fields? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure that the word more sensitive is applicable, but they're less resistant because, you know, we have, uh, you know, the, the control center, there's right. a positive placebo. If you believe something will work, chances are you, you'll make it work, it work to some degree. Uh, if you believe that it won't, if somebody wants to prove me wrong that they, you know, I cannot cure them, I cannot make it better, they're right. They're right. <laughs> Animals don't happen to carry the same philosophy. If they feel better, they feel better. You know, if a dog, you know, if if the hip is is, is feeling better, the dog will get up and will and, and and will be more active. Uh, that's 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 how you know. And what, uh, so, Wendy Hudson, friend of mine, asked about plants, which I've mm. never really even thought about. Like, I mean, Ooh. if a plant is having a problem, oh my God, you. That is awesome. Actually, I'm gonna give it a go. There's a there's one of our house plants which is uh, you know not doing so hot. Uh, I'll do an experiment. <laughs> Put a ring under it because you know technically everything in the uh, on Earth, every single living being, breathing you know unit. Uh, I mean, think human frequency literally seven point eight three cycles per second. Are we the only special beings here on Earth that you know respond to that? I don't think so. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think the plants do. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, Dr. Sheely, do you have any questions for me? I don't think so. I, you, you, uh, well, any experimenter like me. Uh, <laughs> researcher and, uh, yes. Uh, well, I definitely want to come down to Missouri to visit uh, you at the clinic and then also the researcher and work with you more with the actual unit to uh, really have it and utilize it within the um, training world, but also the rehab world, because uh, it's it's so powerful. And I think we're just scratching the surface with it. Um, I What I've found is that I've also, how can I explain this? Um, so what I found is that I actually have it on my hip. Uh, Dr. Soren's seen pictures of what I do is I have a little clip on my belt yeah. loop. I put this on my hip with the unit in my pocket. And with patients, when I um, 
when I'm treating them, I turn it on. And what happens is that it changes it them from a sympathetic state tight to all of a sudden a parasympathetic state and they start to re relax. So my adjustments are a lot easier, the more powerful, but also I'm able to recharge them. And in fact, with all my muscle testing, um, if, if someone comes in and they're really, really tired, exhausted, high stressed, I muscle test and every single muscle on them is weak. I, I, you know, I say, you know what, let's throw this on the full sweep for five, 10 minutes. Just lay here with this on you. I'll come back. And then when I'm testing them, only the things that have been injured are weak and all, the rest of the whole system is stronger. So I'm not treating things that I shouldn't be treating. Because I'm finding so many people, especially what we've gone through in the past two or three years, you know, with with all the nonsense, you know, um, up here, we were locked down up in Ontario, just horrible. The gyms were closed for 339 days. Wow. In Ohio, they were closed zero. Like, wow. I mean, it was just such a, and the, and the most powerful thing to get your immune system healthy is exercise. But they shut down all the parks and you weren't allowed out and so everyone just stayed indoors and ate lousy food and drank <laughs> <laughs> and the average weight gain was 29 pounds so i'm okay. finding yeah. people are started to come out but they're so exhausted and so with this gamma pemf i'm finding that i'm able to put it on them leave come back and then i can treat the different areas but what I'm finding is that it doesn't sometimes even need to be on them. I have it on me. And I think, Dr. Sheely, you said that if it's not in close proximity, it decreases 50%, correct? Right. Yeah. The, uh, yep. The ratio, the power goes down by uh, by half uh, with the inverse square, you know, square from the, in other words, the further away you get, the less, the less power it is. But it does go up to six feet. Uh, in 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 terms of um, uh, yeah the power overall at, uh, yeah uh, but, but you know but there's enough speed is it at um, fifty percent then by itself or at six feet I'd say you you're getting a very a small fraction less than ten percent of the of the original but here's a, but here's an interesting uh, concept and an interesting caveat and I'm not saying this uh, from a perspective of the of the research or uh, this is more of a theory but to be perhaps to be confirmed but you know you know you know how we talked about the concept of resonance doc right yes uh, so you have let's say two tuning forks and uh, let's say you get one going you'll get the other going in the same frequency uh, vibration if you i just want to throw this out there as a, as a consideration if you as a therapist if you as a therapist are optimized in other words have you ever worked with people and again we, this could be on mental emotional physical and vibrational levels but just a very obvious example if you ever walked into a doctor's office or a provider's office and they may be very knowledgeable but they make you feel like well, like crap, in other words, personality, right. approach, timing, you know, right. pressure or, uh, you know, uh, uh, that doctor. The opposite of you two. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, that doctor could be the most knowledgeable person, but that person can kill you in a second, especially if they tell you and you believe that, uh, you know, you have a you, you, you have a terminal diagnosis. You know, you're going to die in, in, two, in, in three years and two days and one minute. You're going to make it happen. If yeah. you believe it, that's nocebo, negative placebo. There yeah. is also uh, and and, and the placebo or positive uh, uh, intention, but there's also frequency. And just some people, I, you know, I used to, I used to wonder. People walk into Dr. Shilly's office, and uh, and, and so sometimes they wouldn't do any, a single thing that he did. He, he he would recommend, but they feel better just because being in his presence. And oh, uh, that's uh, and he that's is gamma PEMF. He is gamma PEMF. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's, and just like, you know, with you, I mean, you know, it's a, at some point you, you know, like you just get a sense of, Hey, you know, this is a, this, this is a healing, beautiful, uh, great Absolutely. environment place. Uh, you know, it's a, yeah. Well, Dr. Uh, Sheely's name is heal, but that's in the middle. <laughs> exactly. I don't know how, how many people catch that, wrong? but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, oh my absolutely. God. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, you at the symposium. Symposium. In, okay. In it will October. come out. Uh, yeah. And and if uh, Dr. Sheely is uh, feeling tired at that time, we'll Zoom call you in into so you can be part of it 
I want you to be part of this, Dr. Shealy, for, for sure. And uh, Dr. Soren, we'll have you come out and Dr. Uh, uh, we'll get a hold of uh, Brian uh, Daly, who's Brian super Daly. Brian. I met him at the uh, Tesla conference. and Oh, God. Yeah, just <laughs> incredible, incredible. He had the, uh, the device that could actually measure the energy coming off of you. I forget the name of it. But uh, yes, amazing. yes, Has yes. He, I, have you done experiments with the gamma PMF with his device? Uh, no, but we should. Uh, you know, we talked about with Brian. I actually have a uh, partial setup. Uh, in other words, I, I was like, he was my medical partner before I joined Dr. Shealy. There's a story behind oh. that. And oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I met him through through Brian. Yeah. Really? Brian. Oh. Yeah. Long story. We'll get into that at some point. Uh, oh, this okay. is a, Again, this is a small world, my friend. <laughs> small world. <laughs> Wonderful to have you. Oh, uh, it's an absolute I, pleasure and honor. So I'm going to try and come down to your clinic in the next couple of months, spend a couple of days with you, show you some of the stuff that I'm doing. You can show me some of the stuff that you're doing and then where we can actually take this to the next level. Because I think this, will, this is going to evolutionize um, rehab. It's going to evolutionize training. Like I'm having some of the strongest uh, men in the world. That's what shows up at the uh, symposium is some of the top, top powerlifters, people that squat over a thousand pounds. And just me spending five minutes with them, showing them what this can do, they go out and they buy it. Like I think I've, I think I've already sold about a dozen of these people going, okay, yeah, that's enough. Okay, I'm going to go buy one. <laughs> God bless. Now, by the way, there's going to be, we'll be putting in a, a, a link where people can follow you and get them and get the device from you actually yeah. uh, with, with yeah. you because, uh, yeah. And, and I, I love that you're actually, I love that you're taking the technology and you're putting in a place where, you know, we, we haven't even, you know, considered, which is uh, optimization, strength training, uh, you know, and just uh, and, and, and performance, uh, athletics, because this is where uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you so much. Well, yeah. I have some other patients that are using it, that they bought it from you, and uh, they've noticed with their clients, their cardiovascular uh, output was increased by 20 percent instantly just by using this so it works on and especially when they put it over the lung so i know you talked about that dr Sheely, that as far as with uh, congestive heart failure or lung problems but from a training perspective it increases the ability and i think the oxygenation so i think even if we used a pulse oximeter or something of that nature to see whether or not it would it would really take it to the next level you know of that but I definitely want to do some work with this. I, I want to make some more videos and teach people from the and get your permission, but also your Please. input on, on and, you know, upload it so that people can see it, not just use it as a static, but how can I use this for rehab, you know, especially the doctors and therapists. And we can, you know, modify it. Um, and I, I have a good reputation with a number of different doctors and therapists that we can continually develop and create new ideas with this but and you guys are the beginning thank you thank you but where we're going to take it and again uh, you know time is almost up or i think a little yeah. over um but uh what i look for we look forward in working with you is development of protocols for the in the in the field that you're in because that that will be powerful and yeah i look forward to doing that because that will be fantastic yes thank, thank you, you so much it's a pleasure i hope to see you in the next uh, few months Take care. Yes, sir. Thank you, Dr. Blessings. Dr. Thorne. Thank Blessing. you. Blessings. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Well, that's that was incredible. Uh, actually, uh, Kale, uh, stay with us for a sec because I actually wanted to almost forgot. Very, very important. We do have a couple of uh, a few friends here in town that we want to talk about. And uh, one is uh, a Spring Valley, which is a which is one of the you know, really great uh, supplement stores, but they also carry lots of Dr. Shilly's favorites, uh, essentials, youth, uh, bliss oils, uh, magnesium, lots of good things. And it's because the service is fantastic. So Spring Valley, a uh, great store and, you know, wonderful service. Uh, and also uh, the other thing Dr. Shilly will always talk about is the Coloma tart cherry juice concentrate uh, just a couple of a couple of teaspoons a day and uh, well it's an equivalent of having uh, uh, your veggies uh, although please have your veggies you know veggies are important it's, it, there's more to it than that you know uh, um, 
Yeah, thank you. Well, I think we're coming to uh, to an end. Uh, any closing thoughts by the doc? Uh, um, uh, what is in tart cherry? <laughs> ah, tart cherry, uh, wonderful compound, antioxidants, uh, and uh, literally, Dad, why do you like tart cherry? Well, I don't know. I've taken it for 30 years. It's wow. just, it's a favorite for energy. Hmm. Oh, for energy. Okay. What, what is the actual product inside the tart cherry? Do we know? Or is it just all the flavonoids? Yes, flavonoids. Imagine okay. so. Imagine so. Just, uh, yeah. Uh, and, but you know what? The other thing is tastes great. So, hey, easier to use it. Yeah, so oh. we're going to do five. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we're going to watch me again. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. That was amazing. Oh, Thank were you. we Thank still you. on? Yeah. Yes. No, okay. no, uh, well, uh, and stream. No, no, we are on, but uh, we're... Uh, uh, are we still live? Okay. So we, st we have the doc, right? All right. Yep. I thought we lost this because there was a... Uh, are we sure we're on? Okay. Streaming? Good. Back to you. Last closing thoughts. I, I'm, I was I think, hoping we would. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the biggest thing is that for people to really understand the power of what this actually has and the genius of what Dr. Sheely has done, uh, along with Dr. Soren. So my my hope is that we can really make this something as uh, as a mainstay within the rehabilitation world and training world and treatment. And so to understand the different protocols that we can create with that is going to be exceptional. Incredible. So at my symposium in October in Columbus, Ohio, um, we're going to be discussing this. We're going to be demonstrating this. We'll be selling this. Like you'll, you'll be able to really experience the differences and we'll be able to actually measure the differences as far as strength that it increases instantly. Now, Here's the thing. It's not a panacea. You still need treatments. You still need a lot of other things that are going on, especially from a nutrition. Because I think because the pulse magnetic field works so well, but also it depends on your mineralization to actually create that energy and whether or not your pH and uh, antioxidants, which is what Dr. Sheely has been talking about for decades, is optimal that you can actually create an electrical charge. Well, if you're deficient in that, this won't be as effective. But if, if you increase that, that's where the magic comes in. And that's the good food, the good supplementation, and everything else, and keeping your pH in, in balance. And I'm bringing in some top people that will be able to measure those different uh, parameters, whether it be pH, whether it be resistivity, which is the amount of minerals, the ORP, all of that, so that we can actually help. Um, people's energy and then you can potentiate it with the uh, pulse magnetic field here i am looking forward to meeting the team this is going yeah. to be a combination of uh, lots of greats here so uh, well, you we're know gonna what? have probably thank over you. 70 presenters so <laughs> there's a lot um, of people thank you. <laughs> appreciate thank you, you so appreciate thank you, you appreciate you we're going to be closing up here so we'll see you next week and we'll see dr ken again Definitely. absolutely absolutely Blessings. thank you all the way